Uh, this is Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. Um, I've been discussing this in the last couple of videos, but I just want to um, bring this to your attention because the True News people uh, have been talking about the uh, the um, the video made by the Chinese uh, dissident that came out late last month and they also cited an article that came from a publication called the Jewish Voice which uh, discovers uh, which discusses it so I'm just going to um, uh, show you this now okay so this is the article uh, it's entitled Hunter Biden laptop contains Alleged sexual abuse of underage Chinese girls. Video used as blackmail by Chinese Communist Party, according to Chinese dissidents report. So, uh, the article says, in a recently uncovered shocking video, which is circulated circulated online for several weeks, an anti-Chinese Communist Party dissident. Um, on September the 24th, about, uh, talked about three hard drives which the Communist Party turned over to the Department of Justice and Nancy Pelosi. The video is part of a Chinese whistleblower network and the show is called Lewd's Broadcast. Many editions of these re reports exist. In the September the 24th edition, the reporter claims that three members of the CCP turned three different hard drives over to American officials. According to the uh, video, Jiang Zemin, Zing Ching Hong, and Meng Jianju made the move, provided the three hard drives to the Department of Justice of America and another copy to Nancy Pelosi. He also claims President Trump has a copy of these hard drives. So the first hard drives are sex tapes, are pedophilia tapes of Hunter Biden, as well as his $4.5 billion secret deal with Xi and Wang. Uh, the second hard drive, the allocation of Xi and Wang's overseas wealth, and the architecture and art project, which is the information of their illegitimate children. And then the third drive, hard drive is the CCC, his um, bio weapon. The reporter believes that there is some kind of internal friction within the uh, Communist Party which led to the hard drives being handed over. The video mainly talks about the first hard drive turned over to the United States by CCP officials. He goes into detail about a deal Hunter Biden made around $4.5 million. This collaborates with a story from the Washington Times, which reports that Hunter Biden was receiving a 10 million annual fee from a Chinese billionaire who has been accused of corruption and with whom he sought to increase the cash flow with business, joint business ownership. An August 2017 email shows. Um, and this was actually mentioned in the Lourdes broadcast before the Washington Times article. So they they quote the uh, the article. Um, they uh, say an email to Hunter Biden from a consultant says that a ten percent stake in an unnamed company will go to the big guy. The big guy was not identified. Well, we know who the big guy is now. Anyway. Um, Uh, Jian Ming has mentioned <coughs> the Chinese <coughs> dissident report. The video is at the end of this article. The most shocking revelations from this uncovered uh, Chinese report come at, at around two and a half minutes into the video when the reporter describes the videos featuring underage Chinese girls and Hunter Biden. So Lude is actually using Chinese words that describe sexual abuse 
depicted in the Hunter Biden videos, according to the blogger Mark Adams, etc. A few seconds later, at the 3.32 mark, Lude describes the sex acts as an extreme abuse of children, if a correct English translation were to be quoted. This implies violence and rape, and it confirms that the victims of the Hunter Biden sex acts were non-consenting. <clears throat> the video is a little confusing, but generally sticks to the first hard drive, which has the alleged explicit video and details of the uh, deal made between Hunter Biden and Ye Ming. It is said in Lude's report that the videos were turned over as a message to American officials that the Chinese Communist Party has the goods on Hunter Biden and is essentially a blackmail operation. The reporter in the video implies that the CCP is counting on a Joe Biden presidency because Joe Biden is allegedly highly compromised because of the illegal activities Hunter Biden participated in, mainly the alleged abuse of underage Chinese teenagers allegedly um, contained in this hard drive. Uh, so the newspaper was not able to verify the accuracy of the translation made available in the video, but was uh, uh, unable to refute the general themes and topics touched upon. We urge anyone reading who speaks Chinese fluently to help us verify the translation more accurately to improve our reporting of this intriguing story. Most interestingly, this video from the Chinese dissident came almost three weeks before the highly covered New York Post article about Hunter Biden laptop left the Delaware uh, computer store, which also, according to the Post, contained explicit photos and the now famous emails between Hunter and Burisma oil executive Vadim Pozharsky. The uh, question remains, is this first hard drive mentioned in this um, Chinese dissidents video the same one from the Delaware computer shop? Mood also mentions emails detailing business meetings with Ukrainian and Kazakhstan energy companies, much like the New York Post expose. Another interesting point, Rudy Giuliani has put forward the extraordinary claim the Chinese government has obtained explosive non-public emails from Hunter Biden's laptop, which he says contains illegal information which he helped push out and tried to get authorities to probe. This was reported by the Daily Mail. The Daily Mail reported, uh, Giuliani said, I have to tell you, and this is very sensitive, the stuff that we have we're in possession of contains a thousand, maybe more photographs that are highly, highly, anywhere from inappropriate to illegal and to be possessed by Chinese government. Um, that's what Giuliani said to Steve Bannon. Uh, so Giuliani had some information also regarding the Chinese government having possession of a Hunter Biden hard drive there are layers of intrigue uh, behind the story, which is indeed making an impact on the 2020 election. There's so many pieces to this puzzle, so much information which still has to be verified as this story develops. So I believe strongly that this information has got to get out and I'm facilitating it. And so I'll put the, uh, the link uh, to all of this in the description box below and I'm just going to play the uh, the video one more time for those who haven't seen it. Now we're going to crank it up a couple notches now. This is what I told you at the beginning of, of the newscast. Make sure you watch it all. We're going to crank it up a few notches and show you something else. I I came across this uh, reading a Jewish website, the Jewish Voice, and the headline said, Hunter Biden laptop contains alleged sexual abuse of underage Chinese girls, video used as blackmail by CCP, that's China Communist Party, according to Chinese dissidents' report. 
in the sources, the Chinese, excuse me, the Jewish Voice website. Now, this uh, came out uh, late yesterday and was on the True News Godcast yesterday that we actually put out the theory and actually talked about it on the Godcast. Could the Chinese Communist Party be using the information on Hunter Biden's laptop as blackmail against it? So yesterday we we posed the question and asked ourselves the question and mm-hmm. debated the question. Who, if if there are videos of Hunter Biden, Biden raping Chinese girls, where did the girls come from and who video recorded the sex acts? And we proposed that perhaps the China Communist Party was satisfying Hunter Biden's lust and, and then recording them just like Israel recorded American politicians who were supplied teenage girls via uh, Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. So you got two honey trap operations going on, blackmail operations. You got the Israeli Mossad uh, through Jeffrey Epstein, but you have over here the Chinese communist blackmail operation entrapping the Bidens. Right. And we don't know who else has been entrapped. So we, we put that out yesterday. Yes. Today I saw the Jewish Voice website and it had, it had a link to a, a, a video produced by a, a Chinese man I, I don't think he's in China because he wouldn't be able to make this report or he'd be dead by now. And so I watched it and I want you to see it. It, it has. Now, are, did we do the voiceover? We yes. did. Okay. Okay.好的，今天啊，咱们这个标题啊，为什么说啊，江泽孟家出手将彻底结束中共啊？这个逻辑怎么来的？告诉大家啊，首先这个前天还是哪天啊？ 我们会先直播说了一个很重要的事情啊，大家可能有的人，有的人在考虑。今天早上我们直播时就问了，就问了这个啊，今天早上安红还有这个莫博士还有赵博士，说郭先生说啊，这个大选将以滑稽啊方式
都可以验证的。咱们说的都是叫做站在今天啊，说未来，啊，今天说未来的这个说未来，站在未来说历史啊。亨特·拜登的哪些东西啊？黄色视频，啊，这个虐童视频，一家一家的啊，这个亨特拜登的，这个就是黄色的啊，极其黄的啊，可以说是啊，虐童的，极其让人看到完全就把中国人不当人的这个啊，这是谁拍的？中共拍的，中共拍的啊。仅是视频吗？仅是黄色吗？是不是？不止，不止。大家告诉大家啊，拜登跟啊，习王，就拜登之子啊。我说现在这所有的拜登都是拜登之子，签的一个秘密协议，里面预付款就，呃，签协议就给了一百万啊，就小费，后面给了一千万。牵涉四十五亿美元，四十五亿美元啊，四十五亿美元的利益，就是亨特·拜登啊，这里面真的是要救新闻啊！我觉得我说到这时候，我得，我得，我得稳稳稳定一下。这个据说啊，这个三个硬盘啊，一个硬盘啊，刚才说的。这拜登的这个黄色的视频，钱啊，协议这个，啊，还有双休，就像陈峰一样啊，里面还涉及到就是哈萨克斯坦，这个拜登我说的是他儿子啊，亨特拜登，乌克兰的天然气啊的相应的协议，这是一个，第二个呢，一个硬盘是习王。他们在海外的钱以及相应的资料，啊，第二个硬盘，这两个硬盘啊，第一个硬盘将曾孟家出手，直接把它先交到司法部啊，给美国司法部，并且还有一份，据说啊，给到了佩洛西，据说佩给到佩洛西啊，很多时候为什么给佩洛西？他们给佩罗西本来意图是，意思就是说啊，我们有你，就是因为拜登嘛，是上次啊在民主党的大会里头，民整个民主党也要开始灭共了，大家口气很强硬了啊，然后他们着急了，就是我们一直支持你，就说白了，之前已经跟你签了一个东西，是吧？然后呢，这边意思就是说啊。你看，你别以为我们没你的东西啊！把东西给你，意思就是让你们别忘了，就后面我有你的罪证啊！你必须得赢大选，必须得赢，这是你不管用什么手段都要赢这个大选，否则的话啊，第第二就是赢了以后，你还得听中共的。但是到司法部这里啊，亲拜登的就把他按下来了。但是，啊，据说啊，咱爆料革命的某位战友把他弄到了。这个是江曾熙啊啊，江曾梦一箭双雕，一箭双雕啊！我告诉大家，就是这里面啊。很多时候为什么一箭双雕？这里面，为什么？因为他有第二个硬盘是习王的钱和资料这一块，在美国的啊，在美国的所有的钱的布局，就是我们之前说过的那叫做什么？记不记得建筑艺术项目？是不是、啊？这个局呢，就是习王在做一个很大的局，这个局很大啊，这个真的就是啊。远超过咱们的想象，这个局真的是要。
不仅仅是要把，是要把十四亿人啊，把联合国真的是要把美国彻底，美国的总统啊，未来的哪个总统，未来多少年以后的多少任总统都是他们的，都是他们说了算。这个四十五亿美元合同，据说啊，就是牵扯到哈萨克斯坦、乌克兰的天然气啊等等。就是谁呢？就是那个叶简明啊去做的叶简明，但叶简明一回去啊，就直接把他灭口，就把他抓了，就等于所有布这个局的人的回去就抓了。这是习啊，习王他们操作的，这是这一块。还有另外一个是安邦啊，安邦也在布局，也在出手，在纽约这边布局，完成任务回去照样也抓了啊。所以你就知道这个有多狠啊？为什么把这个弄出来啊？为什么他们手上有？那毫无疑问嘛，那个孟建柱管政法委这个口，他肯定是有的。为什么？实际上就是想拿这个东西啊，拿这个东西，其实就是。两边要挟啊！江泽梦为什么要把这个硬盘啊弄出来？说白了，就是啊，这个自保，并且就告诉美国和中共勾兑的人，你看，希望都有你们手上的黑材料，意思就是你们对准谁就行了啊，对准希望去。就你们之前跟胡啊，跟江时代的时候，这边对你们啊都是真，这真心对你们，从来没有黑过你们啊，用过什么什么手段来对你们上手的。但是西王可以，大家知道啊，这个矛头就对准了西王，但是这就阴差阳错啊，就到了川普总统手上。当然了，很多人说。这个他们有没有川普总统的那个？告诉大家，川普总统肯定没有啊，因为他没有跟中共啊有这个层面的勾兑。有的人说会不会影响啊？因为毕竟是拜登儿子，会不会影响拜登？那这个事情，那就看选民们怎么看了，是吧？但是这个里头。对拜登儿子这个事情，那就是另外一回事了，那就是司法的事情了。里面还有包括布伦伯格的事情也全在里面，布伦伯格也在这个硬盘里头，都有，还有包括生物武器的这个啊，第三个硬盘，第三个硬盘，都在里面，这三个硬盘。据说啊，到了川普总统手上。To tell the Americans who have been collaborating with the CCP. Some background on this, Rick. Why this is important and why this isn't just some random vlog. All right, this this group, the man you saw on screen, is Lud Wang Dinggang. Now、uh, he's the founder of Lud Media. He's actually, I'd say, an employee, or he's、uh, at least supported. By a very,、uh, very infamous billionaire. His name's Mao Guo. Okay, he's、uh, been this, in the news. He's、course. been in the news. He's who is connected to Steve Bannon. Yes,、uh, he's previously a member of the Mar-a-Lago. He's a, he's a really a, a whistleblower who left China out of fear of being killed. His family witnessed Tiananmen Square in, in, in the late 80s. Now,、uh, this broadcast you would have seen there was actually done on September 24th. The video that we were just watching there was produced, was published on September 24th. This is before the New York Post story. No one in the world had talked about, had thought about, had even discussed there being a Hunter Biden sex tape. What he was detailing there is that three hard drives were being sent to the Department of Justice. You'll hear some other interesting things in there. There's some other officials, such as Nancy Pelosi, who one of these hard drives was reportedly sent to. Three hard drives, one with sex tapes on it. Wait a minute, and I, I know because I saw this this morning. This gentleman claims that the Chinese Communist Party, right, 
the CCP itself, sent a copy of the supposedly the Hunter Biden laptop or hard drive to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and the Department of Justice. Okay, so this if this is true, then this becomes uh, this becomes confusing because if Joe Biden dropped off three laptops, Hunter Biden, or excuse me, Hunter Biden dropped yes. off three laptops at a Delaware computer store and then did not come back to get them. Then who sent copies of the laptop hard drives to Nancy Pelosi and the DOJ? Or did whoever have that already have copies of those hard drives before yes. Hunter Biden took it to the computer shop? And he didn't know it. Right. That's the explanation for it. So in that particular article, it was often Jewish voice and they detail uh, the video here. It says that three members of the Chinese Communist Party turned three different hard drives over to American officials, including the Department of Justice and Nancy Pelosi. He, this Patrick Courier reporter also claims President Trump also obtained a copy of these hard drives. Okay, too. so were the three members of the Communist Party trying to get Hunter Biden arrested? No, uh, according to uh, uh, the Lude's broadcast there, that they were actually using this information as leverage against uh, high fi officials within the Democratic Party itself. To blackmail them. To blackmail them. Basically saying, we've got the evidence here. We can bring the whole thing down. You better toe the line. You better win the election. Uh, you know, deeper in that uh, broadcast, it says, you better win this election. Uh, and, telling, and, and Telling Nancy Pelosi... The communist, Chinese communist message to Nancy Pelosi is, you better win the election to do what? Fulfill your promises that you've made in the business deals with China. And then when you do get elected, you'll continue in that relationship because we'll still have the evidence. But I know everyone is focused on that first hard drive, that, that number one, because of the association with Hunter Biden and the possibility of pedophilia. But there were three hard drives, Rick. And Doc, we're the, we seem to be the only media organization that keeps repeating that the, the receipt that everybody has talked about at the, at the Delaware Computer Repair Store, it said three, three laptops. laptops. Yes. And then we see this. It says there's three hard drives that were turned over to uh, people within the Not administration. Not laptops. Right. Hard drives. Hard drives. So that would explain, that's your explanation that hard, hard drive copies were made of the laptop hmm. hard drives. Now we can speculate on why Hunter Biden took the uh, laptops to the computer shop. Uh, maybe he was so crack addled he didn't think, you know, I've got all this information on here. Uh, I better take it to a computer shop. Or maybe he was trying to unload evidence. But what we haven't gone on to is no one's talked about what's on the other two hard drives or the other two laptops. We've all, all been focused, all the media, uh, even uh, those considered on the right or alt media, they've all been focused on the pedophilia and Hunter Biden. As, as tragic and horrific as that is, wait till we tell you what's on the other two hard drives. All right. Okay. Tell me. You want to talk about hard drive two? Yes. Yeah, so President Xi of China and his vice president, uh, Vice President Wang, these two, uh, like many world leaders, have accumulated wealth over the course of their, mm -hmm. uh, their time. And Xi being head of the, the Shanghai Business District and, and the bureau there rising to promise to be the most important political and uh, power figure in China. Uh, they've got a lot of wealth. Well, the second hard drive reportedly, according uh, to Mr. Lude, it has the complete information about their wealth and assets. It has their entire financial. Xi Jinping? Right. Xi yes. Jinping. Glo global opera, uh, money. Yes. yes. And it specifically details uh, a work uh, in architecture and art, money that maybe has gone through philanthropy, uh, donations, charity, uh, as a way of hiding it maybe. It, it notes that this information, it, it was done just to, it was done as a leak against Xi Jinping, which indicates that there's a second uh, power block inside China. And, and that's Within further the CCP. reinforced. That there's a faction within the CCP that is 
uh, actually working against Xi Jinping or acting like it anyway. Because he's consolidating too much power. But perhaps, A year yes. or two ago, he became the emperor for life. Right. And so that's what's on the second hard drive. So uh, his that, assets. Right. Globally in the United States and around the world this and is, those of his vice president. This is bigger well. than the Panama Papers. Yes. So this is uh, if this information is accurate, it's big. But the third hard drive, Rick, and this is the one that shocked me. Remember, so this the, is door number three. Right. So the, remember, these were being uh, given out last year, maybe even earlier than mm -hmm. that. The third hard drive, as we were to hear later on the Lude's broadcast there, the third hard drive, Rick, talked about the Chinese Communist Party's bioweapon. I, Doc, I saw it briefly as I was watching the video today, and yes. it mentions the name of a prominent American businessman and presidential candidate. Yes, Michael Bloomberg. Uh, being associated on this with this her, third hard drive, and I want to say it again, the Chinese Communist Party's bioweapon. Bio Could that be coronavirus? Is it possible? And I'm just throwing this out here, that based on this information that we're receiving today, Rick, is it possible that the Bidens knew about a possible bioweapon release in the United States by the Chinese Communist Party more than a year ago. I think perhaps Bill Gates did, like maybe October 2019, when he did his coronavirus. Event 201. Yes. With the, the head of the China. CDC. Uh, CDC was in the event. And they just happened to choose coronavirus as, as the, the virus that would bring on a global pandemic. Right. October of 2019, when we now know coronavirus was circulating, or allegedly circulating, maybe it never did circulate in, in China. Maybe it was always uh, meant to be released in Western countries. Now, this would make sense that, uh, because the Trump administration has been very clear that they, you know, they blame China for uh, the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. that, you know, that it wasn't an accident, that it wasn't something that was, that was, you know, oops, we dropped a vial of virus somewhere and it got released, but that it was actually an attack, that it was, you know, a planned attack. If that's the information that's on this third hard drive, and let's assume that the three hard drives match the three laptops. We don't know that for sure. Because now we could, be, could possibly be talking about six different Items. Yes, right. and, and three laptops the and three one, hard too. drives. So right. it's seven total copies of something floating around of su such incrimination. I mean, at the level of this. But and, you know what? What this is doing is it. I know our some of our audience uh, they they criticize us. They say you guys do a lot of speculating. But then most of our audience watches us for that reason. They want to hear us think out loud. They want us to speculate and, and reason and try to figure out what's going on. But we did speculate. We did speculate that coronavirus was deliberately released in the United States of America to take down the U.S. economy and that Chinese communist officials were working hand in hand with Democratic Party officials in America like governors to lock down states and crash the economy. Now start thinking that way. Now, what and, do we have? We have treason at the highest levels. Yes. And now, when were the Biden laptops turned in to the uh, uh, tech? Was that April? They, they were turned in April of 2019. April of 2019. If, and I know I'm assuming and making a leap here, but if we were to make the leap that the three hard drives that uh, w were mentioned on the Leeds broadcast were copies of the three laptops mm -hmm. that Hunter Biden had. That Hunter Biden turned three laptops over to a tech, one containing porn and pedophilia, the other containing probably the most explosive financial information that you could ever release, bigger than, like you said, the uh, Panama, Panama Papers. Papers. 
But what's even bigger is the, uh, the plan, the essence of the plan of a release of a bioweapon by the Chinese Communist Party. Rick, I, am, I, I know it's a big leap, it was a big assumption, but I am going to say that Hunter Biden knew it and that his father knew it, Vice President Joe Biden. I, I don't know what motivated Hunter Biden to get rid of the laptops. Maybe it was like, uh, you know, a way to protect himself or, or like, I, I just find it hard to believe in a crack addled state. He said, I, I, you know, I'm just going to turn these laptops into a local tech. Okay, some people are, are floating the theory that Hunter Biden deliberately turned in the laptops to sink his father's presidential campaign. What would motivate him to do it? Personal anger, maybe emotional pain. Pain. And you think about it. The one the thing that caught me to look at this was the the timeline, specifically that Joe Biden, late in April of 2019, announced his bid for president, his run. April 2019. April 2019. I believe it was April 25th. Um, on April 12th, the receipt says. Hunter Biden dropped off three laptops, which we're now hearing one of the laptops, at least one of them, had a 12-minute sex tape on it, among other incriminating financial documents involving his father's work with China. So, so well, is, is it, Doc, is it, is it a plausible theory that, Joe, uh, that Hunter Biden is so wounded as a son, so burned out that he has so much emotional pain inside of him because his father has destroyed his life, pimped him, used him. Uh, you know, basically, he's a mule. And he could never live up to his dead brother. Is it a plausible theory that he sabotaged his father's political career? And literally, will send several members of the Biden family to prison. What do you think? I think it's entirely possible. I mean, I'm just there, think of the anger that would have to be inside of someone to do that. And once, and once you put it out there, what do you do? Do you go back and get the laptops? I, my <laughs> view is he was so high, 24 hours a day, he doesn't even remember dropping off the laptops. So now this story is still developing, but think about this: the fact that. The President of the United States is having Tony Bobulinski uh, uh, appear with him at the debate. That gives credibility to the emails that are released yes. on yes. the yes. Hunter Biden laptop. Absolutely. Okay. This, this, that so, matters beyond dispute now. I don't care yes. about the NBR and CBS. I don't care. But th it's, you can't even dispute the emails at this point. But if the authenticity of that first laptop is proven... The, I, in my opinion, the bigger story is what's on the other two. Yes. All right, so I'm going to go back to this matter. Three laptops dropped off in Delaware at a computer repair store by Hunter Biden. According to this Chinese-produced video, the Chinese communists, somebody in the Chinese Communist Party sent copies of three hard drives to top American officials, including Nancy Pelosi. And the Department of Justice. And the Department of Justice, in which this gentleman says it was intercepted by a Biden supporter in the Department of Justice. It could be Mr. Orr. Right. Bruce Orr. And Nelly Orr. The yes. Woman who, who, just, asked me. who just left the Department of Justice weeks ago, finally yes. retired. So, if the, if the hard drives that were sent by the communists in China, a rogue faction, if they are copies of the laptops that Hunter Biden dropped off, is it possible that the, the rogue communist agents in Beijing didn't know that Hunter dropped off the laptops? It's certainly possible. In other words, they were using the hard drives for leverage Yes. Thinking they'll never be revealed because it would bring down the whole house of cards. Not knowing that Hunter Biden was so careless, so stoned on drugs, so reckless 
that he would take these hard drives, the, these laptops, to a computer repair store and not even remove anything from the, the laptops and then be so drunk and stoned that he, he forgot about it, never went back to, get, to pick them up, probably completely forgot that he ever owned them. I don't know about that one. I think he remembered. <laughs> well, he certainly, certainly remembers now. This is a really complicated, deep story. And you can't, look, forget, <laughs> so ridiculous to say it's Russian disinformation. Maybe it's Chinese disinformation, but it's not Chinese disinformation because it's implicating the Chinese Communist Party. Yeah, this doesn't make them look good. No way this is fun, it makes the Chinese Party unless, look good. Unless the Russians had copies and they're, they're doing a, <laughs> look, in the world of, of espionage and intelligence agencies, it is so deep and sinister. Yeah, it's possible the Russian GRU is, is backstabbing the, the Chinese PLA. I mean, if you wanted to bring down, look, Russia is, I know a lot of people think Russia and China are, you know, like this. They're not. No. Russia, Russia is afraid of China. The largest land border they have with another country is China. This would be a way of bringing down China. Okay, where we go next, Doc? <laughs> there's, there's so much to unpack on that. That just blows your mind in itself. So, well, uh, last night... Just give it 24 hours. Yeah. Last night, and this shocked us. Uh, I remember when Rick sent the text over and said, the FBI is calling a, a special press conference, uh, a short press conference. Did we go through these? We didn't. Uh, yeah. so let's, let's go back. Yeah. Let's that go back. story that we, we were mentioning with the uh, Chinese broadcast by Lu Wang Ding mm -hmm. um, their source, well, they at least the claim where these hard drives came from, it's very important. They're claiming they're from senior Chinese government officials, ones at least have been purged out of the Chinese government. The first named in uh, this broadcast was a man by the name of Jiang Zemin, the former general secretary of the Chinese Communist Party from 1989 to 2002. Look who he's with, Rick. Wow. Is that Joe Biden? That's Joe Biden. Wow. So that was taken in 2001. We've heard uh, Joe Biden talk about his uh, world leaders and, and his, his Yeah, he bragged. Yeah. He said he's met... He's met Every world leader that's on the planet. Now, uh, Zhang Jingmin, what's he up to these days? Well, he's retired. That's the, the interesting part is that most of these officials have either been retired or have been purged out of government by Xi Jinping. We, we know that Xi Jinping, for example, changed the constitution in China, ingraining his thought into the constitution. Well, he also wanted to get rid of anyone who might challenge him. Now, the second man that that Chinese broadcast mentioned was uh, Zheng Xinghong. A man by the name Zheng Xinghong. He's a former member of China's highest leadership council. This is their version of maybe the National Security Council. Very high-level official, but 2002 to 2007, that's the position he served. He's on the right. The left is Xi Jinping. The third man is Meng Zhengzhou. Now, this man is the former secretary of the Central Political and Legal Affairs Commission. Served between 2012 and 2017. There he is with uh, our former secretary of state, John Kerry. This man is very important, Rick. When I was looking into the claims of this video today that... There maybe is competing factions, a, a purge under the way, or, or a faction that may want to harm Xi Jinping and release information that could be damning. It turns out the, the Epic Times has actually detailed this already. In June, they said that there is a purge underway against the men of Meng Zhengzhou, the former sector of the Political and Legal Affairs Commission, that anyone loyal to him is right now being forced out of government by Xi Jinping. It also is important to note that this man and his the department he was in charge of was the department that was harvesting human organs. That's the claim. When we hear those stories coming out of China, it is number 14 again. That man, the, de the department that he ran, the man on the right there, the department he ran that was reportedly harvesting organs in China. And where did these names come from today? Where did we find these names? So these are the three names mentioned in that Chinese broadcast that we've begun video. to play. Mm -hmm. it, that they are the three that sent hard drives to the United States, to Nancy Pelosi, to the Department of Justice. So all three of them have a potential axe to grind 
against Xi Jinping and the current leadership of the Chinese Par Communist oh, I Party. See. They're all, they've all been purged, You're right. retired. And so one could make the case that this is a factional war going on within the CCP of China and that you know, what you're seeing is a battle for control, not of the future of China, but the future of America. That's what they're really fighting for. Um, do we have any more of the video of the Chinese video? I believe control is still working on it. Are they? Okay. So we, we, what's, do what's the we, actually, we actually have the transcript, though, that uh, okay. we can share with you if you like. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, and what we can do is uh, we'll just read it to you here. Um, Mr. Guo said the election would end in a funny way. He also revealed some sex tapes. Uh, Mr. Guo said directly about the sex tapes, many people ask what's going on. Therefore, today I'm going to unveil a little bit for you. The first is the former General Secretary of the Chinese Communist Party, which we uh, showed there. So that's, that's that first still there. The second is a former member of the Chinese Communist Party's highest leadership con council. And the third is the former Secretary of Central and Political Legal Affairs. They made the move. There are three very important hard drives that have been sent to the DOJ. They gave these to the DOJ, but someone within the DOJ working for Biden, Joe Biden, held it up. But in God's will, a fellow fighter of our whistleblowers movement, we won't mention the name here uh, because you know about the DOJ, in the end it was passed to President Trump. Many people wondered what on earth these are. It will definitely shock you, absolutely. Please be prepared. Maybe take some heart disease drugs, Rick. Are you ready? Hunter Biden, the son of Joe Biden, and all these things can be verified. We're talking about the future from today and standing in the future to talk about history. So what about Hunter Biden? Sex tapes, pedo tapes, one by one. Hunter Biden, extremely disturbing and obscene. Pedophile, extremely. Not treating the Chinese as human beings. Who filmed these? The CCP, the Chinese Communist Party, did it. Only videos, only sex tapes. Now remember, this broadcast was September, September 24th. 24th, Rick. They were talking mm -hmm. about Hunter Biden's uh, laptop and the information that they had that the, the laptop contained back at the end of September before all this blew up last week. And Doesn't this video was circulating on Asian video sharing platforms. Yes. yes. All in Mandarin. And nobody here in the U.S. knew anything about it. Right. Uh, number 16, are we able to show this one? Uh, that's the longer clip that we were trying to show a little bit uh, that's ago. The, that's the yes. entire thing. Well, yeah, we can show, if you wanted to show the, uh, the men that are mentioned here, the ones that Docum just mentioned, that transcript, the purge that's underway. And specifically it makes mention about the, uh, the organ trafficking that one of the three men mentioned that report, uh, Meng Zhengju, uh, that he oversaw before his officials and himself uh, faced purge from Xi Jinping. Okay, so um, reminder, we're going to be 